I will continue uh, the labeling of the uh, prism table not prism table prism spectrometer as we are discussing in last class. So, uh, using the spirit level we have uh, we have tried mechanically we have tried to uh, uh, make the telescope tube collimeter tube and prism table horizontal okay. and uh, then uh, I will continue that discussion. Uh, so, basically uh, next uh, uh, important part is that adjustment of eyepiece and crosshair already uh, I was uh, uh, mentioning when I was showing the picture basically adjustment of eyepiece and crosshair as I told that this uh, there is a there is a tube sorry there is a tube. So, in that tube so this crosshair is fixed. So, you have a tube you have a tube ok. Uh, so, in that tube this crosshair this crosshair this is fixed ok. So, so that that is what I have shown here. Now, this this tube is basically uh, you can um, put in this. So, we tell this crosshair tube. So, this I think there will be E. So, this crosshair tube. So, this is a uh, put inside the telescope tube. So, you can push you can push the I think I will take this way. Uh, you can push you can take in and out of this tube in the uh, telescope tube. Okay. Now, eyepiece this is the eyepiece it is this lens is fixed in another tube. So, that tube again you can insert into the uh, crosswire tube. Okay. So, uh, eyepiece tube can be moved in and out into the crosshair tube until the crosshair appears distinct. Okay. So, that means when it will be distinct that means the crosshair is at the focal point of this eyepiece. So, that is what uh, here uh, adjustment of eyepiece and crosshair. Okay. So, it is done either collimeter light or room light rotating the telescope. So, uh, so basically you have to use light to for this adjustment. Okay. So, uh, either you can use this collimeter light or you can rotate the telescope and uh, take the room light okay. and then you can, uh, you can uh, look through the eyepiece move eyepiece in and out. In, uh, to to see the uh, crosshair distinctly. So, that means, you are seeing the image of the crosshair through the eyepiece uh, lens uh, that means, it is at the focal point of the uh, eyepiece lens. Okay. So, uh, this other uh, telescope tube and this crosshair tube this. So, now this is fixed we will not disturb now uh, focusing knob when you are rotating when we rotate. So, basically this crosshair tube will move in and out of this of this uh, telescope tube uh, to put it at the focal point of the uh, of the telescope lens. Okay. So, so that is the basically next step after mechanical uh, using the spirit level next step is the adjustment of eyepiece and crosshair. You can uh, actually you can take it out and see okay, eyepiece you can see and then you can insert into the crosshair tube okay, and then you will see this when you are rotating the focusing knob uh, that means, uh, this eyepiece is going in and out that you can see. Okay. So, then third step after mechanical uh, labeling and the adjustment of eyepiece and crosshair next adjustment adjustment is basically of slit 
width and length in collimeter. Okay. So, in collimeter there is a collimeter lens as I told and then this is a collimeter tube okay. and other end uh, other than basically uh, basically the slit basically slit uh, is attached with the with the tube okay with a slit tube so that tube we can take in and out using the focusing using the uh, focusing knob uh, as we mentioned but uh, the slit here i try to show that it is on in this plane it is in this plane basically so that's that i have drawn like this okay so it is in this plane so here basically uh, this is this and this other part is this so uh, so you can you can uh, so this is the slit basically so you can you can this width slit width you can change using this just you can push in and out push in and out you can change the width of this of this slit and another arrangement is there is uh, like this you know so basically you can push in and out so when you are pushing in this side so you are decreasing the height you are decreasing the height okay and if you are taking uh, uh, pulling out this side so you are increasing the height okay so this is the arrangement in the in the slit uh, to adjust the slit uh, width and length in the collimeter um, so for, so for for adjustment of this width and uh, length. So, this is the mechanism basically. So, I try to show in a drawing a picture. Uh, so, uh, then next we have to go for focusing the image, focusing the image. Okay. So, that means the collimeter is a source of light, is a source of light. Okay. Prism table is for is a source of uh, optical device okay, either lens or, or um, prism or, or, or the grating and then telescope is, is for seeing the image. Okay. So, uh, focusing the image roughly, so uh, slit source are there on prism table nothing is there. Okay. So, through the eyepiece in the telescope you want to see the image of the slit at uh, at the at the foc at the uh, at the screen means at the plane of the cross wire okay so so to see that one roughly so we have to basically uh, just uh, rotate the focusing knob of collimeter and the telescope okay to uh, to look at the image, so to make it sharp roughly to make it sharp just uh, you try to adjust the uh, focusing knob of collimeter and telescope, so that your image will be sharp. So, that is why it is uh, I am telling focusing the image roughly. So, uh, when you are rot rotating the focusing knob, what you are doing? You are doing basically changing the position of the slit source and you are changing the position of the uh, cross wire okay, where image will be formed. Okay. So, uh, it will be focused when they are roughly at the focal point of the collimeter lens as well as the uh, telescope lens. Okay. So, uh, but we are not sure that uh, whether they are at the focal point or not, but uh, when they will be close to the uh, close to the focal point uh, of, of these two lens. Uh, the source as well as the cross wire. So, then only you will see the sharp image. So, uh, so that is the rough, rough focusing 
uh, for the image. Uh, so, then uh, basically that is what I have, I have described here written here. Uh, so, place the telescope in line with the collimeter look into the eyepiece and the image of the slit may appear blurred. Uh, blurred. So, make the uh, image sharp by turning the focus knob of the telescope and of the collimeter. Okay. So, if image does not appear vertical, make it vertical by turning the slit in its own plane. So, there is a also provision to uh, rotate the slit in its own plane, adjust the width and length of the slit to get an image of desired intensity and length. Okay. So, turn the coser tube in its own plane to make it also either this cross uh, this plus or this cross uh, in the field of uh, view. Okay. So, that means there is a scope to turn the uh, crosser means crosser tube we can rotate and uh, uh, this uh, slit also uh, you can rotate the slit in its own plane okay, to make it vertical. So, then uh, things are uh, you are seeing basically image now uh, as I told uh, that we have to make this these three telescope then prism table and uh, uh, the collimeter uh, okay, their axis will be uh, so their surface okay, uh, length okay, and surface of the prism table they have to be horizontal and also normal to them has to be vertical. Okay. So, uh, so, to make sure that they are satisfying these conditions. So, next step is uh, basically optical leveling uh, of a uh, is not uh, so that is done. So, now you are using the optical device on the prism table. So, when you are using optical table on the prism table. So, the surface of the optical table optical uh, device surface of the optical device either it is a prism surface or the uh, or the grating holder okay. they may not be uh, uh, smooth surface they may not be the uh, uh, vertical their their uh, their axis may not be vertical okay so uh, for that we need again leveling so that's we tell the optical leveling so this prism plays the grating when you will do the experiment uh, using grating or prism when you will do the experiment using prism okay so if you use getting so put getting if you use the prism for your experiment so for optical leveling you use the prism uh, and reflecting oh, they are reflecting surface that has to be perpendicular to the line joining the two screw again the the way spirit level you put so this way uh, either one edge of the reflecting surface of the prism or uh, one face not edge or the uh, or the uh, reflecting surface of the uh, uh, getting. So, that you put perpendicular to the line joining the two screws. Okay. So, place the telescope at approximately 90 degree from direct position to the right side. Okay and rotate the prism table to see image through telescope. Okay. So, telescope you put approximately 90 degree and uh, rotate the prism table. Okay. On prism table you have either getting or prism. prism okay. So, uh, try to see the image through the telescope that means, that reflecting surface it has to be 45 this angle has to be 45 with the 
uh, with the collimeter. Okay. Uh, so, then uh, you will get reflection at 90 degree. So, uh, so, being the image in the center of the field of view turning the two screw equally in opposite direction, okay. the same way as you did for uh, using the using the spirit level. So, now place the telescope in left side at 90 degree and rotate the prism table to see the image and bring the image at the center turning the third screw of the prism table. Okay. So, uh, this operation is required if the bottom of getting or prism is not perfectly flat and edge of the prism or the surface of getting is not perpendicular to the prism table. Okay. So, if this is the case and in reality that happens, so for that you have to uh, do the optical leveling to make sure that. Uh, this purpose is to to uh, make this uh, uh, because prism table will rotate now this your prism is there so if this prism is not basically its edge is not vertical or its refracting surface is not vertical so your uh, this uh, uh, purpose for labeling the whatever the purpose of the leveling. So, that will not be fulfilled. So, that is why this operation optical leveling is uh, required for the prism or gating. Okay. Uh, now, uh, rotate the telescope in line with the collimeter and turn focusing knob of the collimeter to make the slit image sharp means the slit is coinciding. Uh, with focal plane of the lens of the collimeter. Okay. So, does the parallel rays, okay. so I think this is, uh, okay. so I think this the, I think this page I have to show. So, fifth one was that one, so optical leveling was fifth one, so that is the uh, next step is focusing for parallel rays. Okay. Next step is focusing for parallel rays. Uh, so, roughly we focused to make the image sharp. Now, there is a method to make it perfectly. So, that we are telling focusing for parallel rays. So, two alternative method one can use. So, one is direct method, another is Schuster's method. So, purpose is that this we have to put the uh, slit at the focal point of the polymeter lens and we have to put cross wire at the focal point of the telescope lens. So, then we will get the parallel rays. Okay. So, uh, so, how to do that? So, there is two method one is direct method another is uh, Schuster's method. So, you know this when light is coming from long distance, so the light coming to us that we tell that is a parallel rays. Okay. So, if you, uh, so in that direct method uh, uh, utilizing of the fact that light from the uh, very distant object reached to us is parallel rays and form image at the focal point of convex lens of the telescope. Right. So, rotate the telescope towards outside object and turn the focus knob of the telescope to make sharp image of the object uh, means the crosshair plane is coinciding with the focal plane of the telescope. Okay. So, this is the basically uh, direct method. And now, basically, you rotate the uh, telescope, rotate the telescope in line with the collimeter, and turn, turn uh, focusing knob of the collimeter to make the slit image sharp. Okay. So, rest of the part you have to do uh, just uh, uh, rotating the focusing knob of the collimeter. Okay. So, uh, so uh, 
So, thus the parallel rays from the collimator will be produced and the parallel uh, reflected or refracted or diffracted rays from the prism or gating will enter through the lens of the telescope and focused in the cross wire plane and form the image. Okay. So, uh, next one is Schuster's method. This method is based on the fact that the effect of prism on divergence of the beam is different on opposite side of the minimum deviation position. Okay. So, minimum deviation position basically uh, this is the from this is the light from collimeter falling on the uh, this diffracting edge. Now, it is uh, refracted and going this way is the telescope. Okay. So, this say this is the direction of direct light. So, this is the refracted one. So, this is the deviation meaning this is the deviation. So, deviation changes with the incident angle you know. So, deviation changes with the incident angle like this. Okay. So, uh, so, this is the minimum deviation for this angle okay, I m minimum deviation incident angle. So, uh, focus. So, uh, what we are telling that uh, keeping the telescope keeping the telescope at higher incident angle sorry keeping the telescope uh, first we have to find out the minimum deviation position and then from minimum deviation position uh, just 5 degree uh, away from this minimum deviation position we will keep the uh, telescope. Okay. Now, we will uh, change the incident angle one will be higher than the incident this minimum deviation angle and uh, other will be lower than the minimum deviation angle. So, I L lower and I H higher okay. for these two position. So, when we will keep at higher angle, so then you focus the telescope and when you will keep the lower angle okay, from the minimum uh, this incident angle. Okay. So, then this is the incident angle. So, basically you have to rotate the your your uh, source is fixed. Okay. So, change the incident angle you have to rotate the prism table. Right. So, means uh, uh, normal normal to the uh, surface of the uh, of the prism a prism face okay, which face you are using. So, that uh, normal will change means the angle will change because your incident direction is fixed okay, uh, collimeter is fixed. Okay. So, uh, that time focus the collimeter. So, that is the, that's the uh, operation one has to uh, do. So, uh, at the at the lower angle, so divergence is more and at the higher angle divergence is less. So, this Schuster's method use this basically fact. Okay. So, uh, so, this method is explained uh, here. Uh, first, what you have to do place the prism on the prism table keeping base means non reflect non reflecting space nearly parallel to the collimeter all the time the apex edge at the center of the prism table when you put the prism on the prism table this apex edge yeah, we tell a angle of prism so that will be at the center of the prism table okay so, now after placing the prism table, he in this case you place in such a way that this is base non reflecting surface basically that one that keep nearly parallel this face to the collimeter. Now, illuminate the slit of the spectrometer with the sodium lamp monochromatic light uh, nearly monochromatic light rotate prism table. So, that the light from collimeter falls on the reflecting face say a b. So, this is a b, this is a c, this is f x edge 
and uh, and this is uh, base. Okay, this is base. So uh, so uh, so the light from the collimeter falls on the reflecting face AB and observe the image through other reflecting phase through other reflecting phase AC with I and then bring the telescope and observe the image. Okay. Find the minimum deviation position rotating the prism table and fix the telescope 5 degree away from the minimum deviation position. How to find out the minimum position? You have to rotate the uh, prism table and then you will see this your image just after uh, uh, for a certain position of the prism or prism table. So, it will come back, it will come back. Okay. So, that position we tell the minimum deviation position. Okay. So, find out that minimum deviation position. Now, from that position turn prism table increasing or decreasing incident angle and bring the image in the field of view of the telescope focus the telescope focus the telescope when increasing focus the collimeter when decreasing. So, that is why I have kept in back at this part okay, and make image sharp repeat the operation few times okay. when it is done when it is done. So, then this you, you are getting the parallel rays. Okay. So, this is basically Schuster's method. Okay. So, for Schuster's method you have to find out the minimum deviation position. From the minimum deviation position uh, you have to increase the angle and so when you are when angle will increase you see when this apex edge when it is rotated towards the telescope towards the telescope because this is the collimeter light is coming you are rotating towards the telescope means this angle will increase because this normal is is rotating this this way. Okay. So, this angle will increase. So, when angle increase you have to adjust the telescope other way people generally remember that when this prism edge that is rotated towards the telescope you focus the telescope when you are decreasing the angle means rotating this way okay, rotating this way that means normal will go this way this line is fixed from collimeter light is coming. So, angle will decrease that time you have to adjust collimeter. So, that means when you are rotating towards collimeter you focus the collimeter. Okay. So, operate uh, repeat this operation few times and then is you will uh, this set this telescope and as well as uh, collimeter they are properly focused for handling the parallel rays for the experiment. Okay. So, now your spectrometer is ready for doing experiment either using the prism or getting or anything else. Okay. So, uh, whatever I describe theoretically here, so in lab I will show and again I will uh, explain the operation. So, I will stop here. Thank you.